Hey there, my friends. I had a great question come up the other day, and it had to do with video and storyline, which is one of my favorite things. The person wanted to do this. They wanted to have a video playing in the background, and they wanted objects to appear at specific times of the video so that the learner could learn about what was taking place during that point in the video. So I'll, in this example, I have three objects that appear. And again, these objects are timed to be appearing at specific points in the video. Third object is going to appear here, talk about flames, have a fire extinguisher just in case. Now this is fairly straightforward. All we have to do is have these objects timed to appear on the timeline and we can scrub through our video and see when we would like them to appear and then the learner clicks on them and these layers appear. Again that's fairly straightforward. However, the challenge that the individual was running into is this. When you're working with video and storyline, if you've not noticed this yet, it's something to pay attention to, you have the ability to click on a video to pause it, click again to play, click to pause, click to play. And in this situation, if I click on my video, the video pauses, but everything else on the timeline, meaning these objects, continues to appear, which unfortunately throws the timing off. So, in order to avoid that, what we can do is use the good old hotspot tool. I come up here, I grab hotspot, I'm going to cover my entire video with a hotspot. Now, when a hotspot is published out, you don't see it, it's invisible, but yet it does provide a barrier between your mouse and the video. So, what I would do is simply make sure that this is right on top of the video here. And now, when I preview, you'll notice that. I can still click, but now nothing happens. The video is going to continue to play in the background so that the project timings don't get out of whack. And there you have it. Just a simple use of the hotspot tool is to provide a protective layer for a video to make sure the learner doesn't click on it. And in this case, in an interactive video project, it keeps your timings as they should be and does not allow them to get out of sync. Now, one other thing that I would show you really quickly, and it may or may not come into play at various points, but if you right click on a hotspot, you'll notice the show hand cursor on hover option right here. What this means is that it will continue to show the hand cursor much as it would be over the top of a video. So if I delete this, if you recall, when you hover your cursor over a video, it shows you the little hand icon there. And so the hotspot allows you to keep that hand icon as well or to get rid of it. And there might be time in some projects, certain projects, where you don't want that hand cursor to be present. So in my case here, I take that off and now you see that the little pointer continues and it does not switch over to the little hovering hand. Just wanted to point that out to you as one little extra bonus tip here when working with the hotspot. But once again, in this case, Using a hotspot, great idea to protect a video so the learner cannot click on it and interrupt your project timings. If you have any other questions, head on over to eLearningHeroes at Articulate.com and we will do our best to help you out.